My name's Dia. I'm the merc you hired. So, what you got for me? A commission, a fight, armed escort? Whatever it is, you know where to find me. We mercs have one simple rule. Whoever pays the most is your new boss. The desert's a tough adversary, but at least it doesn't hide anything. What you see is what you get, and whether you take on the challenge is entirely up to you. My people are used to the desert life, but still, I hope that one day they'll be able to find an oasis of their own and leave the sandstorms behind for a better life. According to some of the older Aramites, it does actually rain in the desert on occasion. And when it does, it's always a lot heavier than this. Man, this thunder is loud. <laughs> they won't hear us coming. Ooh, or vice versa. Ugh, are you kidding me? This is even colder than the nights in the desert. Ah, sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> Just sucks that I got so much work to do. Wind's picking up. Let's play it safe and pitch camp downwind of our target. Stay close. No going off on your own. The desert doesn't take prisoners. Ready to roll? Good. Then let's pack up and move out. Where did the morning go? All right. As soon as I see a good spot, I'll set up the stove and cook us some lunch. You're still working at this hour? Ugh. And I thought we mercs had it tough. It's late. Go get some rest. I'll take the night watch. The Aramites is just a title. Any mercenary in Sumeru can call themselves a member. Sadly, you get some mercs throwing the term around to take advantage of outlanders who don't know any better. <laughs> We've got those jerks to thank for the increasingly abysmal reputation we have these days. Your recent feats have been doing the rounds, you know. In my brigade alone, a lot of people have been talking about the things you've achieved. <laughs> I've even had several people ask me if I can introduce them to you. You know Ajilenak nuts, right? I used to go crazy for them as a kid. But my dad was the worst at shelling them. He'd just hack them to pieces with his knife, leaving a bunch of inedible mush behind. In the end, he'd salvage what he could by scraping pieces of the flesh off the shell, then mixing it with some milk and calling it porridge. <sighs> I do miss the taste of that porridge sometimes. And I miss that old nutcracker, too. A lot of people see the red vulture as an omen of death and disaster, because it feeds on the carcasses of the dead. But the way it soars high above the desert, I've always seen it as a symbol of the tenacity of life. I wonder what the great red sand looks like from all the way up there. I've lived around Aramites my whole life. As a little girl, I had a wooden sword for a toy. Everyone I knew growing up was either a merc or on their way to becoming one. And even the bowls we ate our meals from were carved by mercenary blades. After an upbringing like that, <laughs> it'd be more surprising if I didn't become a merc when I grew up, right? I love my makeup box. Sometimes I take it out and reorganize it when I have the time. I keep all my powders and brushes in here, pay top mora for all of it. Just look at this texture. Isn't it just perfectly smooth? And even if you sweat or get caught in the rain, it doesn't run. <laughs> you get what you pay for. Some clients are behind on their payments again, and a few of the guys got themselves into trouble during their last job. <sighs> I'm not the boss, but somehow everything ends up being my problem. Candied Ajilainak nuts. No contest. Easy to take on the road, and of course, delicious. Anything bitter. Nope. Keep it away from me. Can't stand it. Ugh, this tastes amazing. I'd better not have any more, or I'll never be able to go back to my usual rations. Hmm, not bad. Compared to rations, anyway. You know, uh, if nothing else, it's a uh, filling, and if it fills you up, it's good grub. <laughs> Happy birthday. Reach into your pocket. Your present's already in there. How'd I do it? <laughs> Just a little trick of the trade. Anyway, more importantly, I've booked us a real feast at Lombard's Tavern, so let's get ourselves over there. Huh? Oh, don't worry. I didn't invite any of the other mercs. Nah, that rowdy bunch is always getting into arguments. Not the kind of people you'd want at a birthday celebration. It'll just be me and you. Like it should be. Oh, uh, ahem. <clears throat> uh, come on, come on, let's go. Huh, how about that? I really did get stronger. Hey, this feels good. 
I think I'll be able to hit quite a bit harder with my sword now. Let's get it on! Buckle up! Buckle up! Look alive! Gloves off! You're dead meat! You asked for it! Well, how about that? I call dibs. <laughs> I could make a tidy sum selling some of this. <sighs> We've got ourselves a tough cookie. All right, playtime's over. Just great. <sighs> Pull yourself together. Get out before I drag you out. They cut me good. I done messed up. Merc down. Your mommy teach you that? You ain't messing around. I got your boss. <laughs> got a job for me? Time to get down to business.